Hi and welcome to uh, to Calumet University. Today, what we're going to do is show you guys how to get a close up of the electrical wiring on a uh, single hose wonder box. Stay with us. Okay, so what I got in front of me here is to my right. This is your electrical connection wiring diagram, which is included in each one of these boxes. I've actually taken uh, the internal brain out of the Wonderbox single hose, and this is what's in front of me. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to have four Phillips screws, and I've already done all of them just for the, the, uh, the time constraint. So you're going to make sure you get all those screws out. As soon as you lift this, be very, very careful because you're going to have two wires that you're going to have to undo. The power wire to the actual uh, key fob reader is this one so please unhook it and then your ribbon is for your number uh, keypads on, on, on the front of this faceplate so one thing to remember though is if you get a little closer on this this rivets have to be facing down if you hook up these rivets with uh, facing upwards you can have a lot of issues with maybe some of the numbers not working properly so just remember that when you unhook this up the rivets have to go back down the same way that they came off. So make sure you take this off and you put it to the side. In the bottom right hand corner, you're going to notice your three connections for your wiring. Your black is going to be your hot, your green is going to be your uh, ground, and your white is going to be your neutral. So if you, took, if you take a closer look at some of these manuals, you'll notice uh, on one of the pages, You've got the designation called L for your hot, PE for your ground, and then your N for your neutral. So that's what you're going to follow here. Remember, this is a 100% dedicated line. Uh, no other power tools or anything else can be on this line. Bring it straight through a conduit into the, the motherboard of the system, and you should guys, you should guys be up and running 100% uh, accurately. Now that we've got everything hooked up power-wise, make sure that again, the ribbon goes down with the rivets facing down and you connect the actual power module to the key fobs. Now that everything's secured, let's put the face back on there, take your screwdriver and secure all four screws. At this point, you're done with the actual power connection to the single hose wonder box. Thanks for watching.